just for a little bit, we're trying to go to a BMX shop. I don't know if this little microphone works. Mic check! Mic check! What up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Colorado Caddy. Thanks for checking out the channel. Let's jump right into it. All right, so I've been trying to get some group rides recorded, get a few things done over the last week, and having this cast on is an absolute nightmare. I can't film anything while I'm riding. Riding in itself is a whole nother thing to master, but I only have one hand. I have my left hand, so obviously I can't drift trike or e-skate and film at the same time. And I'm in a little bit of a back and forth with one wheels right now. After this, I don't know how long it's gonna be till I hop back on one. That being said, we have e-skate con coming. E-skate con. Super, super stoked for this event. We have planned to go to this year's event since last year. Um, so yeah, going out there with the crew of homies from here in Colorado Springs. And I gotta get some training on, you know what I'm saying? Just because this happens does not mean I, I, I can't ride. Doesn't mean I, I won't ride. This is my life. Riding shit is, is what I do. It's, it's how I live. It's, it's just my everything, period. And East Gate Con being one of the biggest events of the year, you know I gotta show up and show out. So, I've basically just been training myself on everything else that I can that does not involve use of my right hand. I'm still riding, I'm still triking, um, I'm still trying to get on a skateboard when I can. It's just I do not want to risk tearing this, this cut open from the surgery. Yeah, yeah. Bottom line is I'm actually playing it safe in recovery this time so that I'm able to participate at Eastgate Con, so that I'm able to actually get out there and send it, and so that this little thing that lasted two months doesn't affect the next two, 10, 20 years of my life. So I'm making sure I'm careful while I'm healing. Been out riding with Priscilla a lot lately since she got that sir on. She is loving it. That thing is so dope. Sick. So, and everyone keeps asking me, oh, now that your wife got this one, does that mean you're gonna end up getting a sir on? Getting out riding with Priscilla is just too much fun. I love riding with this girl. She's so chill, she's so mellow, she's just, she's such a freaking vibe to ride with. She gets hype at the right time. Every time I slide a corner, I hear her behind me, woo! And getting her on this Suron is probably the best move we've made for her since we started doing all this. Um, she wants to pop wheelies, she wants to do jumps. She's just, I love that woman. Prissy, if you're watching this, I love you. All you couples out there, if you guys ride together, let me know how much it helps your relationship. Let me know who you bond with over riding. What member of your family is the one person that you can just go to at any time and be like, hey, do you want to go out for a ride? Or if you guys are fighting or arguing or whatever. Does going out for a ride help everyone the way it helps us? Because boy, it's done wonders for us. And as some of you may know, or some of you don't know because you're new to the channel or don't follow my other pages, I did leave Evolve Skateboards. I am no longer an ambassador for Evolve Skateboards and I no longer represent Evolve Skateboards. Now this has been something I've been thinking about for a little bit of time now. It's not just a spur of the moment thing. This was a personal choice of mine. This is something I talked hours and hours with my wife about and it's just a decision I made. I don't feel I fit in with that team in a whole bunch of different ways and without putting a bunch of people on blast, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. With that being said, a lot of people are wondering what happened with me and boards, me and one wheels, me and e-skates. What the fuck is going on with me? First of all, I'm just having fun and y'all should worry more about what you're doing rather than what I'm doing for real, for real. But let me explain this if you're still listening after I said what I just said. And I don't mean nothing mean by that. I'm just saying like for the hating ass people who are like, oh, what are you doing? Why do you, why do you switch to this? Why do you do that? Look, I'm having fun with my life. That's what I do. I love riding things. I love electric skateboards. I'm always going to love electric skateboards. That's a community and a sport that I am, my feet are planted in. I, I love it. Um, when it comes to riding drift trikes, when it comes to other things, Priscilla getting a sur on. No, we did not stop board sports. Um, 
we just like writing stuff. That's that's the end of the the story, really. I mean, that's long story short. That's what it is. We love writing things. And for a lot of people, I think that that's really hard to grasp, just because you feel that what you ride and are a lot of people out there. A lot of people out there are are really just stuck to one thing, and they think that that thing is the best. And that's their opinion. For them, that is the best. Um, for me, it's not necessarily what I'm on that's important. It's how I feel. And that's what I've been trying to bring to this community ever since I started this, is the feeling of this, of what this gives me inside. Not just what I'm on with wheels. Ooh, anybody can ride around anything with wheels. But does it give you that feeling, that, that feel good, that make you want to snap yourself in the mirror in the morning. I know everybody knows what I'm talking about. You know when you get up and you be like, hey, you, you, you're a rock star. Am I the only one that does that in the morning? If I am, y'all should get on it, like now. But I have noticed that a lot of people have this mentality, like I said, that what they're on is that's the end all of all electric vehicles. I'll have, I'll post one thing of me riding a one wheel and I'll have somebody get on there saying ride a real PV. And then I'll post something of me on a drift trike. Somebody will say ride a real PV. I'll post something on a skateboard and somebody will say ride a real PV. What the hell these days is a real PV, guys? Honestly, should it really matter what is, what, what you're riding? We all come together as a community. This is one big community. Yes, there's little niche communities inside of an already niche community. But if we keep talking down on each other and talking down on what each other is riding and what we're vibing and how our style is and stuff like that, then this community is just gonna rip itself to shreds. And it shouldn't be like that. That's not what community is. I got in this because I love y'all. I love y'all. Each and every person that clicked on this video or that ran into this video, I freaking love you and I freaking appreciate you for real. And that's what this is all about. It's about the stoke of this. Intro to speed, um, um, ORL, all this stuff, Underground Racing League for One Wheels, all this stuff. It's not just about the racing, it's about bringing people together and showing them the wholeness of this. The big picture, and the big picture is you. And you, and you, and you, and you're cool. You know what I'm saying? That's the big picture is all of us just come together and enjoy the sun, enjoy the outdoors, enjoy urban exploring, enjoy the mountains together. Just enjoy each other as human beings instead of being stuck on screens all day long. Today we're linking up with the homie Flo Rasta, his wife Gisela, mad shout out to them. Both of them got trikes from Electric Drift Trike. Um, man, the trikes are blowing up out here. Y'all better get on this wave soon, soon. But yeah, so we're gonna go out, we're gonna explore a little bit and see where the day takes us. All right, so we're about to get out here and ride and just have some fun. We might be having a couple issues real quick though, so hold on. We're just gonna cruise for a little bit. We gotta go to a BMX shop and pick some shit. I don't even know if y'all can hear me. I don't know if this little microphone works. Mic check! Mic check! I'm trying to take it as high as it go. I've been by the code, you know how I be. I am a product of putting my curses to rest on my family tree. Cause he grow. They tell me they free, but they work for the man. I can't relate, I did it on my own. Look how we grow out the concrete to a rose. Stuck by that code. Cause got me back on the float. I'm really trying my hardest, restraining and masking their urge to show up and glow on these boys. Don't tell me I won't. Can't nobody see me. I've been on dope time, and to be honest, it's not even close. Your favorite is faking his dreams, he a meme, me not with his show. But what do I know? All them thoughts that you have, even yours. I'm paying my pain over course. Fuck a reward, I'm earning my stripes. I give it a pipe. So sometimes with electric vehicles, you have electric fucking problems. I know, we're actually thinking about getting an electric something vehicle. Yeah. But then we're thinking about not. Do any of you guys have electric vehicles? Let, let me know in the comments if your vehicle fucks up. So a lot of people ask if like, the drift trikes are just for fun, like just for parking lots, or if we actually like get out and ride them, ride them, like around the city. And the answer is, ooh, all around the city. 
we actually be out exploring. The only thing is the sound. If you can deal with the sound from a PVC sleeves, you're golden. And if you skate urethane ever, then sound shouldn't bother you. So unfortunately, we did have a few more problems with the homie strike, so he was unable to join me for the rest of the ride. Um, I got out and killed it for like another 15 miles as usual. His strike was just having some wiring issues. If you're involved in PEV, you already know that they're, these things can be finicky no matter how well built they are, no matter where they come from. There's just, it's electric stuff. Electric stuff sometimes has issues and that's the end of story. Thank you everyone who stayed tuned for this whole video. Thank you guys for watching. Much love to all y'all. Until next time, much, much love. Hit that like and subscribe button now.